Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, well, we have a channel update. I know I've been doing a lot of repair videos lately, not much machine work. Uh, currently, the site I'm working on doesn't really permit any video recording or photos. So, uh, yeah, I haven't really uh, done any videos on machine work lately. That's, that's the reason why. Um, but I've got loads of equipment in for repairs. Uh, got a lot of still uh, long end ledge cutters, blowers, chainsaws, I've got loads to do. Um, and today I was going to dive into this Makita top handle saw. Uh, it's been sitting for a while, the tide hasn't been running for a while. Uh, the customer says it doesn't, uh, doesn't start, it doesn't stay running. Uh, I looked it over earlier, there's no fuel in it. But the only thing I did notice is the in the oil on this chain oil he's got uh, engine oil in there so that'll have to be cleaned out hopefully it hasn't uh, destroyed the rubber seals in the in the pump there we're lubing the chain yeah it's definitely engine oil so uh, we'll get get that out and uh, we'll get it cleaned off and uh, We'll uh, give it a clean off and uh, clean the filters on it, and then we'll uh, we'll put we'll put some gas in it, some oil in it, see if we can get it started. If not, we'll uh, jump into the carb and get that cleaned out. And see what see what the problem is. So yeah, let's get to it. So we got jars start by getting this uh, engine oil out of here. I'm not sure how much it uh, holds. But uh, we'll fill this jar up and if there's a bit more we'll uh, go empty it and start again. Wasn't that much in there. It's not only uh, engine oil, it's uh, used engine oil. I've been told before that goes quite uh, acidic. Yeah, I'll get that with my other used engine oil and get that recycled. Prior to starting, I must then take this bar and chain off. Take this side cover off. Doesn't do uh, doesn't look too bad in the side. It's not the worst I've seen. Don't know what condition that bearing is. There's a bit of play there. Get some gas in here and uh, see what she does. So I've got the gas in. Primer seems to work. And then uh, let's choke. This is a stop switch. That's in the one mode. even a pop so uh, let's get the plug out and see uh, see if anything's happening on that
so you've got no spark not more not at all uh I'll try a different plug in it so this plug's a known good it's out of a working blower So you got nothing on spark whatsoever. So uh, next plan is probably take this side cover off, the pull start is, uh, check the wire into the on off switch and the uh, magneto. Four, four fittings that uh, hold that down. So we've got two, two eyes going to the switch. And then the wires also run round to the front here. To another coil this side. So we'll get take these two leaves off this uh, secondary coil here. And then we'll uh, put them on the multimeter and see uh if we gain anything from this coil here, what uh, the magneto on the flywheel there? Just check this coil here. It's definitely not burnt up. So I think we have to take this case off and have a look at this uh, coil this side. See why it's uh, not giving an output. have to take this switch out it's, uh, seems to be stopping this case coming off
not sure, but I think this engine mount, this handle mount's getting in the way. Let's remove that and see if we can uh, get better access. There's a second coil. So previously we got this Makita chainsaw top panel and uh, basically uh, this primary coil here had broke down. So we've got that ordered. It came with uh, that coil as well. So we replaced the both. And uh, yeah, let's get them in and uh, see how she runs. can't get the wiring wrong, the uh, different size spades on each side, so uh, we're pretty covered there. piece of paper in there folded to uh, set the gap that looks good Let's get this coil off. New one. Let's get that uh, switch in place. Be a bit easier with the uh, coil out the way. There's a switch. 
the ground speed. Which one's which? Can you remember? Yeah, it's quite obvious if you look at it. The uh, the coil's got a really small spade on it, and then a medium size. Where the actual switch has got a quite a large spade, then a small, medium light. So, wasn't as bad as I thought. Small one. How's that go now? Get the pull start on, we'll give it a few pulls. Uh, I suppose we could do it with the drill, do it with the drill and uh, we've got a plug in it and see if uh, we have spark. Nice crisp spot there. Get you in focus. Pull start cover on.
got petrol. We've got the uh, nice chill gun. Now she runs, we just got to clean the uh, engine oil, what was in the tank, clean that out, and hopefully the uh, oil pump still works, I'm having the engine oil in there, and uh, yeah, we'll give it a clean up and uh, give it a whirl, and take it outside, try to cut some wood with it. Get this uh, clutch drum off and spare gear, and uh, get these bearings greased. That's a weird clutch, isn't it? Never seen one like that before. The only thing I've noticed in this saw is it doesn't have an air filter. The air filter has been removed, and uh, I don't think it's ever been put back on. bearing on here seems like it's pressed in there it's actually got a bearing number on it it's strange Wash it back on and then see a clip. Let's get the ball and chain back on. Look how short this is going to be. The uh, compared to uh, all the other things I've found on it, I can't imagine it will be short. Let's go try it on some wood.
Seems to be running sweet. Can't get much chain oil there. I'll uh, adjust it right out, then adjust it back in. Oh yeah, there is a bit actually. Yeah, it's coming, that is. Sweet. Uh, it just needs a air filter ordering for it because it's completely missing. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, well that's back to working and the, uh, I'm sure the chap will be happy. So, cheers for watching and uh, hope this helps and uh, see you next time.